Hey everyone, Brabant here and welcome to Satisfactory, an open world first person factory building game that's currently in early access. So this game was brought to my attention a couple of days ago and I'm surprised I haven't heard of it sooner. So we're just gonna jump straight in here and create a new world. So right here we've got three different maps that we can choose from. I'm gonna go with the grass fields. I've messed around with a few of these and these are quite difficult for starting off. Uh, at least from my experience, I'm a little bit of a noob here. So we're gonna go with grass fields. The session name really isn't important. I'm just gonna call it not earth, you know, why not? And let's give this a go here. So, so I don't entirely know the introduction here. I sort of skipped over this. So this is gonna be a first for me here. So through this introduction sequence, basically you've got a machine telling us exactly what to do and what we're doing here. I'm just gonna fast forward all the way through this because you really don't need to see it. That's it. Get to work and be effective. <laughs> don't tell me what to do. Morning, planet fall imminent. Please remain seated during full procedure. Uh oh. Atmospheric entry uh -oh. in five, four, Three, two, one. Planet procedure initialized. Oh god. <laughs> I'm getting Subnautica flashbacks here. Just a little bit. So basically what we're doing here is exploring an alien planet for the company that we work for. Um, we can use the resources around this planet to aid us in our research. So we're going to find different things around the planet that we need to analyse and research and then we can send that data back to fix it incorporated that's the general idea anyway so so we're just coming into land here and you can see really far I love long render distances they're so cool planet fall complete please okay. ensure the integrity of your multi-purpose exploration suit is at 100% um, I think it is. Bring out this pod. Remember, efficiency first. Godspeed. Jeez, look at that world. Wow. Wow, I've got to say that soundtrack's actually pretty cool. I'm really liking it so far. And here she goes talking again. Skip ahead. So I'm just gathering a lot of stuff here. Basically, I've sort of played a little bit already, so I sort of know kind of what I'm doing. Um, I'm just going to collect all these leaves here, which is going to be converted into biomass. Okay, that's going all the way down. God, it's just a little bit too dreamy. So this entire landscape here, we can build on this, we can harvest from it, and we can thrive in it. So on the little on the left here, we've got dismantle drop pod. So I can get my tool out here and dismantle this guy, and I can use this to build uh, the hub, I believe. Cool. So now I can start scanning for iron. That's the first thing I need. Oh. Okay. So we've got two. Okay. Closest one is over here. Now there are hostile creatures. Maybe that one's hostile. I don't think it is. I think I've seen a few hostiles around the resources that I need to harvest. Oh, hello you. What? Are you? What? Pick up green power slug. You know what? Why not? Ah, that thing. That is dangerous. This semi slug oh. seems to emit weak potential energy from its crystalline shell. We need to get rid of you. Okay. Come on, come on, just a few more hits. Come on! Where are you going? There we go. Right, so over here is some Studying iron. The remains of this creature might shed light on how to defend yourself in the future. So as I was saying, we've got some iron deposits here. So I'm going to go and harvest some of that. I'm going to get about, I will say, 50-ish. That might do. Okay, there we go. Got 50. So now we're going to start building the hub. And... We're going to choose, you know what, we are going to go right here next to the iron deposit, because why not? So let's go right there, slap that bad boy down. So over here we can craft certain things. We've just got loads of iron ore, so we can craft that into ingots. There we go, and everything, <laughs> 50 ingots. Okay, now over here is um, the different objectives. So um, right now, uh, tier zero, we want to upgrade our hub like so. Uh, we're going to select the milestone, so we need 10 iron rods. So I'm going to make those right now. Uh, iron rods, let's make 10. There we go, and pop those in, and upgrade. There we go. Perfect. Sixth oh, look objective. at you! Hub upgrade, construction. Can I go Note. up there? <laughs> Connect buildings to a generator for power. Whoa! Note. Okay, so we're going to select the next upgrade here. Uh, so now we're going to need to get some copper. 
So what I can do is scan for that as well. I think it's some just up here actually. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's go and get some. Oh, obviously we've got some more of these things. Careful. There we go. Easy. Man, you can really guess. Wow, we've just come all that, all that way. Can we go up there? I mean, I imagine so. I don't see why not. Just seems so far away, doesn't it? So now I'm going to turn all of this copper into copper ingots, just like with the iron, and I can use that to make wire and cable. So next up, I need to make an equipment workshop, so I'm going to slap that down pretty much anywhere for now. It doesn't really matter all that much. Uh, so there we go, that's down. I built it the wrong way, so what I can do, the good thing about this game is I can just dismantle it, and I keep all the resources, and then I can rebuild it, uh, rotating it the right way this time. There we go. Just slap that down right there, and I can access it super easy. Nice. So one thing I can make with this is the portable miner. Now I've got enough just to make one of these, so I'm going to craft that, and I can go into my inventory here, and drag it over, and I can now deploy this over at the iron deposits. So I'm going to chuck this down right here, nothing crazy, uh, just kind of drop it, there we go. And now that is just going to automatically harvest all of the iron for me. Now it's got a max capacity of 100, so I'm going to have to keep checking up on it, but that's the general idea. So whilst doing that, I'm going to go get some more copper. Making my way downtown to my miner, and we have... A decent amount, 78, that's really good. So now, unfortunately, I have to convert all of this into iron once again. However, this is where I can start to automate things. Is that button starting to shake? It is, because I pressed it so damn much. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, so I've got everything that I need to upgrade the hub once again. So I'm going to pop these in here, like so, and upgrade. Now, I believe this will, yeah, this will make a little room for us here. Can't really do much with this, to the best of my knowledge, so we're going to have to upgrade once again. I've got loads of new stuff. So now I can make power lines and power certain different modules, so we're going to get to that later on. That's not really for right now. Um, I'm just going to focus on upgrading the hub once again, so I can just sort of get everything that I need. So right here, I'll be able to uh, make biomass, which is really important. So I'm going to select the milestone, and wow, that's a lot of stuff. I think I've got enough for a smelter now. Yes, I do. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to chuck this down right here. Um, I can't connect it to anything yet. So pop that down there. Cool. Uh, so right here, I can throw in the resources that I get from this into the smelter. Now I need to power it. So let's connect the power line here to the smelter. And that is now powered. So let's open this up and select iron and chuck all of the iron in here. Now I can also now get limestone, which is used for concrete. So just over here, I already know where stuff is, well. Um, I can get some limestone. Now now I can automate all of this, however I just don't have the resources right now. So I'm going to keep gathering this by hand, just to get enough of what I'm doing. So I just checked and I can now make biomass, so I'm going to quickly take all of that out of here. And I should be able to just craft it, like so. Yeah, look at that. So I just got the resources needed to make a constructor. So this I'm going to chain onto the very end. You can see this has got a blue output here from the smelter. I'm going to build that right here. Okay, there we go. That's everything we need for the next tier. Or the next uh, upgrade. Boom. Nice. So now I can make conveyors. So if I've got some... Do I have some plates? Yes, I do. I can connect. Congratulations. You oh god, you stop interrupting me! Okay, she's done interrupting. So, now I can connect this to the constructor. So, look at that. So now the output of the smelter, ingots are going, well, ingots coming out of this, uh, going into the constructor. Now I'm going to have it make some iron plates. So I need to power this, uh, and I need some more concrete. I should have enough, actually. So, what we're going to do is deconstruct that, and make the power line go to here, like so and connect that to this and that to that. So this is like a splitter. You can see three out of four. I can connect one more thing to this or I can have it go somewhere else. You can only have one output directly from the generator, so that's why I had to have that. And this is now completely on its own making iron plates. So with upgrade number four, I can make the miner. I can also make a storage container and I get some extra storage. So let's go with that. I need 100 iron plates, 75 iron rods, 20 concrete and 20 cable. So here's where I'm going to start to make some extra 
deployable miners, these possible miners here. So let's make two of these. And I'm going to deploy these miners over on the two different deposits. So over here I've got limestone. I'm going to set that to automatically harvest uh, if I can. There we go. <laughs> and I'm going to do the same for the copper, which is just up here. There we go. Done. Oh, hey, look inside here. This is cool. It's weird how before it was just a shell, though. Like, this looks so much nicer. So I've got one smelter. I'm actually going to make a second one just to speed things along here. Plus, I might use it for copper at some point. So I'm not going to be too specific with this either. I'm just going to align it. Uh, next to this one like so Yep, there we go, and I'm just gonna chuck in some more iron because that's the main thing that I need right now And to power it all I need to do is connect it To this power line and there you go. Is this the wrong way around? <laughs> it is <laughs> So now I need pipes, so I'm gonna cancel this or change the production to uh, rod Sorry, I keep calling these pipes and that's the last thing I need, as you can see in the top right, it says hub upgrade 4. I just need, like, what, 60 more pipes? Rods, I keep calling them pipes, damn. And that should be everything for the next upgrade, nice. So now I can make the miners and a bunch of other stuff as well. Yep, I can now make new buildings and I've got an extra inventory slot. So, miner mark 1, uh, what else can I make around here? Uh, conveyors. Generator. Uh, storage container as well. This is looking really, analysis. really nice. So Note, it's only the miner. God, will you stop talking? So now I can make the miner. Uh, we're going to pop this down. We're going to rotate it so it's sort of facing outwards a little bit here. I can always adjust this later on. So that's what I really like about this game. You don't lose any resources if you want to rebuild something. It's really nice to see. So now also I've got an extra biomass generator, which is really good because I have already expanded as you see. I've got three modules here and one here. So it's nice that I've got that. So now the miner is powered. I'm going to get the conveyor belt and connect that straight here into the smelter. Yep, it's powering up. I can hear it. We should see some iron come out of here very shortly. Yep, there we go. Nice. So that iron is going to go straight into here and it's going to be smelted into bars and that is going to be made into, well, currently rods. So now I'm going to do the same thing for copper, which is just up here. And then I'm going to make a conveyor belt Bring the copper all the way down over there so I don't have to keep running up here. It's such a long jog. Boom. Pop that down. Nice. So this conveyor belt is going to be really long. And as you can see, I can't just plop it down all the way over there. So I'm going to make a little uh, pole point. I want to say point right here. And then I can connect that to the ground like so. So let's just take it straight to there. And that should... Yeah, carry things down. Nice. Oh, as you can see, it's actually backed up. It's a little bit too slow. Yeah, this is really backing up. I don't know how to split these, if it's possible. That would be really cool. So while I'm waiting for some plates to smelt over there, I'm going to check out the upgrade cost for Hub 5. So this unlocks actually quite some interesting stuff. Get a space elevator, get a biomass burner, object scanner, and a beacon. Now, because I'm not using the smelter, I'm just going to dismantle this, and I'm going to connect that. Pretty much straight over here at the bottom. Wow, you can reach really far in this game. <laughs> wow. Okay, plop that down right there. And I'm going to connect. Wow, you reach far. You reach really far. There we go. That's all connected. You can see the copper coming down. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. That's a lot of copper. Oh, what? What, you want to fight? You want to you wanna fight? Do you? Yeah, it doesn't end so well, does it? And you? Yeah, that's what I thought. God, I really want to go exploring. Like, I do, but I want to have this, like, fully automated. Like, before I go, so it's actually doing stuff. Like, I just want to go down there. I want to see if I can get up there. So I've set that producing copper ingots. Now, I need to make... I'm going to go with the constructor. Uh, I actually need some of the reinforced iron plates. Oh, look at that. It's snapping. Oh, I like that a lot. Well, I saw the constructor down right there. A little bit of a gap in between. Just moving the exit over closer towards the hub, which makes a little bit of sense in my eyes. There we go. Nice. 
So that's going to completely automate. And right here, I want to make some wire. And I also want to have storage on the end of both of these. It just makes a little bit of sense, just so, because this can only hold 100. I want to be able to hold a lot. There we go. Look at that. This looks so good. I know I'm just at, like, the tip of the iceberg with what you can do in this game. But it's such a good feeling getting, like, your first, like, functioning conveyor, you know? It just looks so cool. And here I am, completely forgetting. I've got to power this. There we go. And there we go, the wire's coming out. Awesome. So I'm automating the wire, and I'm automating some plates or something over here. I'm not sure which one. As you can see in the top right, I need 150 plates and 150 tubes. Rods. God damn. I keep getting that wrong. Hey, you know what? I'm also going to get this one going. I want this to start gathering resources as well. This way I can make plates with one, and I can make rods with another. I got it right. Rods. Okay, there we go. That's the next miner down. And there's the smelter, and the constructor. And now all I need to do is connect them. There we go, all done. So in order to get more connections out of this power line, I have to disconnect this and expand it. Like, wait, hold on. There we go, like so. And then I can connect three more things to this. Now, I might be overloading this, I'm not too sure. I guess we'll find out. Okay, is this working? Yes it is, iron's coming out of there, and ingots coming out of here, and should be making rods, perfect. So I've got rods, and I've got, wait, new email received, power circuit notification, text plug. <laughs> right, okay, I think I overloaded it, that's what happened. Well I should have everything I need to get the fifth, and I think, final upgrade? I'm not sure, let's plop this down. Uh, wow, I need one more. Okay, there we go. And we can now upgrade to Hub 5. Nice. New equipment, I've got a player upgrade, and I can now make new Congratulations. buildings. Congratulations, you have unlocked Hub Feature Molecular Analysis Machine, also known as the MAM. Building oh. Biomass Burner, Building Space Elevator, Equipment Object Scanner, Equipment Beacon. What is that? Why? Motivational message. Congratulations, you succeeded in every provided task. On what? behalf of Fixit Incorporated, I thank you for your current and future service. Um, why did this just land? Knowledge, the hub terminal has been converted to give access to milestones there to ensure you progress along Fixit approved protocols. Thanks. I think. Additionally, the MAM provides the opportunity to send samples of xenobiology and other materials I deem relevant to R&D in exchange for appropriate rewards. Oh, got ya. Okay, cool. Note, so I can find rare things or like new things, send them to them, and I get reward. Initiating project assembly. Good luck. So, molecular analysis machine, I need to analyze these flower petals, and I think I have quite a lot of these. Just chuck those in there, and begin analysis. Oh, that's gonna take a while. So on the left here is a list of things that I've discovered on this planet. Now what I can do is place these into this machine, the uh, the MAM, or the Molecular Analysis Machine, and I will get a reward for doing that, right? Conveyor splitter, oh look at this! Okay, so I can make, right, got ya. So that was tier zero that I've completed, tier one uh, in util, wait, is it? I think so. Yeah, utility. So in utility, I can make biofuel, the most energy efficient form of biomass, looking cool. Logistics, I can do conveyor splitters and mergers, very important stuff. I can also get more inventory slots, I'm looking forward to that. And wall conveyor. So it looks like I can make a genuine factory. I'm not sure what I need walls for, apart from making things look pretty, but you know what, I'll take it. Assembler, rotor, modular frame, obstacle clearing, chainsaw. Man, look at some of this stuff. You jelly landing pad. <laughs> oh, I'm looking forward to this. The ma'am has completed its analysis. Okay. Okay, what have you got for me, ma'am? I want to find out. Analysis complete. The analysis of flower petals is complete. Please choose a new specimen in the list to begin new analysis. Um... R&D wishes ah. me to tell you these colored petals are useful for two things, dating and creating color cartridges. 
Hmm. Mandatory reminder that you are under 24-7 surveillance. Always good. The derived blueprint is now accessible in Hub Tier 2. Cool. Nice. So I guess I can paint things, right? Yeah. Alien Carapace. I think that's how you pronounce that. <laughs> Begin analysis. Awesome. Really enjoying this game. Man, it's cool. <gasps> I can see it here. Alright, so thank you so much for making it towards the end of this video. Let me know what you think to Satisfactory in the comments below. Personally, I'm really enjoying this game. I can see myself getting quite obsessed of making like, you know, perfect factories and I'm really looking forward to seeing what this game has to offer. If you want to pick this game up for yourself, it is available early access on Epic Games. The link is in the description. If you use the link that I provided in the description, I also get a little kickback from your purchase so it helps support the channel. Just putting that out there. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and don't forget to tune in for the next episode of Satisfactory. Thank you so much for watching everyone and I will catch you in the next video.